What three baits should you use if you live up north, in the middle, or down south here in this great country of ours? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So this is one of the most fun videos I have every month. I love doing the research, talking to people, and then hearing what you use and what you are using at this point. So if you like this, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate it. Well, it's June and up north you're fishing, in the middle it's getting hot, and down here it's hell. But this is also a time when the fishing is really good. But you need to watch for weather conditions, barometer drops, and the temperature of the water. This is also a time in those middle and lower and southern states where the fish metabolism is going to be at its highest. They will move off and grab baits. They will be you can work baits faster. You can do little subtle changes in your retrieval and catch more fish. But again, hopefully everyone's fishing and down here in the middle of the country, you're through the spawn, you're post spawn. Maybe way up north, in the way, way up north, maybe you're dealing with spawning largemouth or just after post spawn. And water temperature is crucial right now. If you're way up north, finding that little bit of temperature drop, that thermal climb, will help you catch fish. They're looking to catch some relief. They want to find shade and they want to go under docks and they want to get in grass. They want to do something to not get beat up by the heat. Which brings me to my first thing. Make sure you stay hydrated and put on sunscreen. It's crucial right now. And you don't want to take, you don't want to have problems later on in life. So stay hydrated and put on that sunscreen or get some sort of SPF shirt. So start paying attention to shaded areas and temperature drops and areas like that. Places where fish are going to be able to ambush those forage fish. And start speeding up your retrieval. Make those casts and work that bait a little bit faster than you did when it was cold water. And remember, sound travels further in warmer water. So your rattling baits are going to sound a lot, are going to get a lot more attention right now as that water is really getting warm. And last but not least, break out some bigger baits. This is a time where your bigger baits are going to work. This, when this water temperature starts really climbing up, bigger baits are what they want. If they can get one meal and not 10 smaller, that's what they're going to be looking for. So like I always will break it down in the upper, middle, and southern states. So if you're way up north, my first bait I think you should use is a crankbait, some sort of larger crankbait that's a middle diving crankbait. They're going to be on the bottom and they're going to look up, but stay in that middle to lower water column and have something that has good action, has good wobble, makes noise, do all of it. Try to use every advantage of that lure to your advantage to catch more fish. So my first bait is a large semi deep diving crankbait. Next, if you're fishing up north, my second bait I think you should use is a football jig with some sort of creature trailer on it. You can, there's all sorts of them out there. There's great ones and there's terrible ones, but quite honestly, I tried to stay away from giving you a specific, but I'll put a picture of one that's on there. But a football jig is going to get to the bottom and that creature trailer is going to make it have a little bit more bulk. And that bulk is what they're looking for. Crayfish, crawfish, however you say it, they are looking to eat those as much as possible right now. And this is a time when that molten phase of a crawfish could be happening for you. So my second bait is a football jig with a creature trailer. My third bait is a topwater bait, but not like a whopper plopper. I mean, just a topwater plopping bait. One that you can make a cast and just get that gook and have it stop. Now, in most cases, I'm telling you to speed up, and I think speeding up your retrieval is very important right now, but this is a point where you want to look like a wounded dying fish and making that gulp or that gugunk noise as you make your fishing rod twitch and then pausing it and letting the water waves go away. And by that, I mean you hit that bait and you'll get those water waves and as it slowly moves away, as it gets four or five feet away, twitch your rod again and get another one. It's not to be worked drastically fast. I will say if you're not getting the bites or not finding the bites, start to do that twitching a little bit faster and making it walk a little bit more. But those are the three baits I think you should be using if you're way up north. Now the three baits I think you should use down in the middle of the country. The first one is a topwater walking frog. No question about it. You're going to start seeing a lot of grass on top of the water. You're going to see you're going to see frogs spawning or having babies. So let's use something that matches the hatch. But a topwater walking frog that just bounces properly in the water and looks good. You don't need to have a giant one on, but have a medium sized one is going to catch you a lot of fish right now. Next, of course, is another crankbait. I don't think you can go wrong in June and 
July and in August with a large crankbait. Now I'm saying a large crankbait. I mean one of those three or four or five, three or four inch giant crankbaits. Something you can get down, bounce off the bottom, make a little dirt trail as, as it's swiggling through the, the water column. It's really important to not only have the noise but also show something that the bass can feel and that bait bouncing off the bottom actually makes the bait do something different as it hits every time. And that those little minor changes in the pace and the speed of that crankbait bouncing off the bottom attracts bass to eat it. So my second bait is a crankbait or a somewhat large crankbait for the middle of the country. And then last but not least, one of my favorite lures to throw, I think you should be throwing whopper plopper. Something that can, you can hear that chugging sound ju -ju -ju -ju, as it's coming across the water. It's a good search bait to find fish, but more importantly, it's a bait that they're going to hear and feel as you make that cast. They're going to see it, feel it, and hear it. And those are the three things you want. And a whopper plopper is really, really good this time of year. So those are the three baits I think you use in the middle of the country. Last but not least, if you're down south like me, you're in hell. It's hot. And I mean hot. When I say hot yesterday, it was 102 degrees and I this is being filmed on May 30th. So 102 is scorching but does mean the fishing is getting, fishing's gonna get really good. The fishing will get good before it gets the dog days of summer. So this is a time when you need to, you need to focus on those shadow lines, but I think you need to use a buzz bait with some sort of buzz bait, prop bait, whatever you wanna use, either one. I think buzz bait is really good on top of the water right now. My second bait, if you're down here down south, is a Cinco, some sort of worm. You can Texas or Carolina rig it or Nico rig it is how I do it. Put a weight in the front and let that bait just flutter through. Now for me, I'm targeting areas that are grass and then open water. I wanna be right on that edge or inside the slop. If you're not fishing inside of it, you're not catching fish. There will be fish roaming on outside of the in clear water but or cleaner water but what they're trying to do right now is they're trying to ambush that bait and with it being so hot they want to find something to hold to something that gives them some life early in the morning is a great time to fish also in the evening too when that shadow gets perfect and there's a slight change in that water temperature they'll move up and eat but a Cinco is my favorite bait, really my favorite bait I'm using right now. And last but not least, I'm gonna throw a large swim bait. And I'm talking large, five, six inch swim bait. You can use a large glide bait. You can use large soft plastic uh, swim bait. You can use anything that you want, but a bigger bait is really attractive to bass right now because the shad are getting a little bit bigger. They're also looking for an easier meal. And those slower glide baits as they glide back and forth, effortlessly and make those S turns in the water look really enticing and look like something that's an easy prey that the big fish will want to eat. So my third bait is a giant swim bait. So there you have it. Those are my three baits I think you should use up north, the middle, down south. What three baits are you going to use? I'd love to hear in the comments below. But thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Cheers.